Hey guys, what is up? Shadowlands back for another review. Today I'm going to be doing the newly released Uzi Metal that we were all anticipating. Uh, they released the leaks for it a long time ago. It had been at least a month. So, I mean, we all knew this was coming out. I was actually a little bit surprised that it didn't come out with the Micro Uzi. I was really expecting it to come out around the same time. I mean, it took them a solid extra week and a half, two weeks for that to come out. But um, And I was also expecting the Metal Uzi to be the NX variant and the Micro Uzi to be some sort of like uh, either NX Rare or GP Rare variant. Um, for like a very, very high rank or something, but I guess that's not the case. Uh, it's the other way around. That's the way they even uh, announced it in the leaks, so I mean, I guess I'm happy either way. But either way, this gun is also a very nice increase from the regular Uzi. Uh, we're going to hop into stats, and I'll compare this to both of the guns. We're looking at a damage of 34, a portability of 85, a rate of fire of 90, accuracy of 64, and recoil of 65. Basic ammo capacity, 30 of 90. That means I recommend the extended magazine. You can also put a suppressor on this gun, and that's entirely up to you. For me, it feels like the gun has zero recoil. I mean, I feel like the gun has no recoil, so I don't think an S1 suppressor is really necessary unless you just want to kill the sound. It feels a little bit loud, not super loud, but it seems fine. Uh, you unlock this gun at 2nd Lieutenant 1, so it's a relatively early uh, weapon that you get access to. And honestly, I'm kind of okay with that, because it's not a super OP weapon, it's very balanced, it's really nice. Um, it's kind of like a, uh, if you look at the kind of new age SMGs that we're seeing, with like the Magpul, the Barapi, even the micro uh, micro Uzi, it's kind of it's really nice because now we're starting to see some of those faster fire rate, higher portability, but lower damage guns come to the GP guns. So I think that's really really nice. And honestly, the Uzi has needed an upgrade for the longest time. I know the uh, Mac 10 got one recently. I'm still heavily anticipating a Mac 10 uh, NX variant, and I would love to have one of those because I think that would be awesome. Put like a scope on it or something and make it look really cool. Put a suppressor on it. I don't know. Just make it look cool. I think that'd look really. That'd be really awesome, and I would love to have that. It's been available as of 321 uh, or 320, 321 uh, for the date anyway. Uh, you can put a suppressor and a magazine on it, as I said before. You cannot put a scope, although, to be honest, if you could put a scope on this thing, that'd be awesome, because the gun has literally no recoil. The spread increases, but it seems to have no actual recoil. Like, the gun literally doesn't, like, sway at all, which is really awesome. Uh, the Micro Uzi is a little bit like that, but for some reason, the, Mo the Uzi Metal seems to have even less than the Micro Uzi, which is kind of strange. So... Maybe it's just due to the S1 suppressor on the Micro Uzi. Uh, maybe without that it would actually have a little bit of sway. I know that is reverse concept, but for some reason, for some guns like the XM8, uh, the uh, S1 suppressors actually make the spread go up, which is kind of... Sorry, the, uh, the spread go down, but the recoil go up, which is kind of weird. But I think I could explain it mathematically, but I'm not going to do that here. So just comparing it to the other weapons, uh, the regular Uzi has a damage of 30, a portability of 85, rate of fire of 90, accuracy of 63, and recoil of 65. So we're seeing a one-point increase in accuracy, a whopping four-point increase in damage, and uh, the damage drop-off is about the same. The damage drop-off is pretty high, so it's going to be uh, like five to seven shot kill at medium to maximum ranges, so that's not very good. But... Then again, with the small, with the relatively small spread and the very fast fire rate, a headshot's relatively likely, so as long as you know where to aim, you're probably going to be okay. I'm doing this again on Slaughterhouse. I really try to get some good uh, Junk Flea 2 gameplay. I still think they've been so creative with that name there. Just, you know, Junk Flea 2. Really stepping outside the box that time, but anyway. Uh, try to get some gameplay on that. Didn't go so well. I did the Capture the Flag gameplay the other, uh, last night, the other day, whatever. Um... So, I mean, that's kind of okay for now. I will do some more gameplay on it. I actually like the map quite a bit. Not as much as I like Slaughterhouse. I still like Slaughterhouse a bit more. But um, both are both are pretty much equally fine to play on, and you're going to do well on either map. I just like Slaughterhouse a little more because I got really used to doing S&D on it in Clan Wars. Um, so, yeah. Comparing it quickly to the Micro Uzi, the Micro Uzi has an even higher damage of 36 and less damage drop-off. Same portability of 85, same rate of fire of 90, same accuracy of 64... Uh, which is two points increased from the regular Uzi and one point increased from the metal, and the recoil of 64, which I believe is uh, one point less than the Uzi metal. So the micro Uzi gets nothing but a nice increase from the Uzi metal and the regular Uzi, not to mention the suppressor and less damage drop-off. All in all, the micro Uzi is kind of a combination of the Barapi. Uh, the, mic the micro Uzi and the Uzi metal are kind of combinations of the Barapi and the Magpul. It has the Barapi ability to put on the extended magazine, so you can go for higher accolades, but it has the low spread, fast draw speed and fast reload of the Magpul. It's not quite as fast of a reload as the Magpul, but it has the same concept of being faster than most uh, SMGs. So, and that's true both the Micro Uzi and the Uzi Metal. 
Not so much of the regular Uzi, because this reload is a little bit slow. The draw speed on the Uzi metal is... Like, time-wise, it's fast, but the gra like you can the, from the time you press the button to draw it and start firing, it's pretty quick. But the draw animation is pretty long, so that can be heavily misleading. Um... And also, like, then it also has that reload where it shows you jamming the clip into the gun. That's actually pretty... You don't usually see that, like, the actual, like, getting it getting jammed into the gun. You don't see that very often, but, I mean, whatever. It's cool. Um, that's really all there is to say about this. It's pretty. It's a pretty basic weapon. A lot of you guys will have access to it at some point or another, so you'll get a chance to try it. Micro Uzi as well. I highly suggest the Micro Uzi. I actually now suggest the Micro Uzi itself over the uh, Barapi and the Magpul. I... I think it's kind of a perfect combination of both. Although, if I still have to make a choice between the Barapi and the Magpul, I would still take the uh, Magpul any day. Uh, I'm better, I I'm more used to getting individual kills with a silencer, uh, S1 suppressor on that gun, than just going without the uh, extended magazine. So, that's just my personal playstyle, but whatever. The Micro Uzi is a perfect combo of both of them, so. The regular Uzi Metal is also a good combo, and the Micro Uzi just improves upon it with the suppressor. And, honestly, the suppressor is up to you on the Micro Uzi. Uh, sorry, the Uzi Metal, so. Whatever. But that's about all the time I have for a review today, guys. I've started making my reviews a bit shorter because that seems to be the time you guys seem to be willing to watch. So I'm going to start making them about six minutes apiece, and I think that's going to become my uh, new kind of thing. I don't think I'll really do any more long, super long reviews anymore that are like ten plus minutes. So uh, that's the end of that. But thank you guys for watching. Please rate, comment, subscribe, and I will see you in the next review. Shadowlands out.